cool collective guy. Uh, carry the joke sometimes with him. You can hear him. Uh, I could hear him sometimes speak loud when he's talking on the phone. Uh, generous guy. Fixed his cars a few times, and uh, he was always prompt with me, and he was always been a good guy. You know his name? I do know his name. This man. What's up, man? You know, sir. I have no idea. What's the rough age? Rough age, 25 to 28. Uh, do you know what he does for a living? He works in a company. Do you know what sort? Of no, to be honest, no. I can see him always in suit and tie and going up to work. How long has he lived here? Probably over nine months to a year. Do you know, is he English or is he... No, 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 he's Middle Eastern. Eh? Middle Eastern. Can you work out in Middle East? No, no, but uh, not 100%. Does he live alone? No, he's married. Uh, do you know his wife is? I know. Yes. Do you know where she is? Uh, no. I just arrived now, so I can't get into my house. So I have no idea what's going on inside. Okay. Did you see anything this morning then? Or no, I like left at half eight this morning, to be honest. I dropped my daughter off to school and then about 10 o'clock I got a phone call that there's been a call in our uh, living apartments. Um, how would you describe him? Uh, as in uh, facial so, characters, well, he's probably the same as height as me, yeah, slightly thinner, short. <laughs> uh, short hair, yeah, mm, dark complexion, like tannish. Uh, that's about it, thin face. Do you know his religion? I mean, I can tell you I'm Buddhist, <laughs> but I am Muslim. Yeah. So it's, it's hard to judge one. So, I mean, uh, if he's connected and he's got something to do with it, I don't think he's religious at all. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Don't really matter. And do you know his wife's name is? No, I can't really tell you that, to be honest. As you know, it's still ongoing investigation, so there's some names I can't really... Wait, what was his name again? Ismail. What have the police said to you? Have they said anything about No, I haven't spoken to the police yet. They said to me, I can get my daughter inside and that's it. I don't know. So are you not allowed back in? Uh, yeah, we have to register in now because people who left before the code have to re-register before they... Uh, people who were on the code and left and come back in, they had no problems. But us who have been outside, we have to register to go back in. So, I mean, I do thank them for their all their, uh, all their work and all their professionalism. And they're doing a very great job. So. What did your wife say about what happened this morning? I, she was on the phone many times and I said, I just, just don't speak on the phone now until we see what's going on. And what, what did she say to you? She said that the, uh, uh, well, the flats have been cordoned off by police perimeter and there's a flat. They knocked on our door, and they confirmed my ID, they took my passport and my birth certificate, they checked it and they uh, took my phone number. And she said to me, there's a house, the flat underneath us has been raided. Did they give you your stuff back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I didn't see it, but they, the wife said they just took your passport to confirm your ID and then they just sent it back to her. Okay. So he seems like quite a professional guy. He would be out, at, out, out for work at half eight and back, back late in the evening. He comes back at five o'clock, half five. Does he wear a suit and tie to work? Yes, he does. You don't know what firm he works for? No, no, to be honest, I don't. Have you ever spoken to him? Yes, I fixed yeah, his cars many times. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, but we didn't get into uh, a long we did, conversation. We did speak about the Middle East and stuff like this, but yeah. never into uh, extremism, to be honest. No, no, no. 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 no.